Now on to our very first guest for the night. Her breakthrough role was on Don Draper's er, was as Don Draper's secretary on the iconic dramatic series Mad Men, and now she's getting rave reviews in the Stars hit comedy Survivor's Remorse. So let's take a sneak peek at the new season. Ooh. Cam Calloway's explosive comments threaten to unravel the star point guard season. You should just say, "My bad, you feel bad." Cam, put your face in the chest. We're doomed as a power couple. I'm glad that you started attending your therapy session. It was either this or prison. I think that I'm number one. You gotta apologize. You can't apologize for something you're not sorry for. <laughs> he don't know he ain't married. Yeah, I'm a beast. Reggie. That's awesome. All right, well, please welcome Tiana Paris. Woo! Yeah. Yes. You know how you're beautiful. You look so fierce. Thank oh my you. This is all sorts of fabulous. Oh my things. God. Wow. Beautiful braids. You're my favorite. Thank you so much for coming to the studio. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh my God, please. Our honor. Our honor. I know. Let's get to chit chat in here. Because huge congrats on the show, Survivors Remorse. So fun, guys. And it's going to be back again at the end of the month, season three. It's on Stars. Now check this out. July 24th. July 24th. That's right. Now NBA star LeBron James. I cannot believe this. It's so cool. He's one of the executive producers of the show. Now you got to tell us, Tiana, is King James always on set? He is always at work. You know, he was doing this little thing called a playoff. Oh, yeah, I don't I mean, the champ. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, like finals or something. I mean, Basketball you know. But he does stop right? by. Yeah, I think oh, it's right. Right. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> he does stop by set, and he's so fun and just really chill and yeah. humble. It's great. It's great. When he has a chance, like when he's playing in Atlanta, he'll yeah. make sure he stops by. It is so, so cool awesome. because the show's actually based in Atlanta as it's, well. Yes, based in Atlanta, shoots in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, that so is great. so cool. And yeah. you play half of the power couple on the show. Uh, she plays Missy. Now, your husband's name is Reggie. Yes. Now, I hear, like, maybe that power couple status might be in jeopardy this season. <gasps> you know, th we, this season, we really get to see Missy and Reggie, their relationship really tested uh -huh. and what it's going to be made of. And Missy, we she just wants to find who she is outside of this family, who she was before she married this man, and yeah. just really get her feet back into, I, like, she's very educated, yeah. had her own businesses, like, what, who was, who was I before I was your wife? Yeah. And I need to find that. And you know, it's, it's awesome. a little tricky. Yeah, Cause she's a part of this family that's, uh, they're all, it, it's loosely based, I think about uh, on LeBron's life. And in some ways, NBA star, making ah, it yes. big, you know. What so. it means to make it big, make it out of the hood mm -hmm. and your family, how it is this new, found fame and celebrity and fortune and yeah. what it is to deal with that and right. the human side of it. it. It doesn't really take place on the court at all. Yeah. It's all about the family and the family dynamics. That's so awesome. good. So speaking of it. like Missy's um, uh, evolution, how do you feel like her fashion has evolved? Like has her has her style grown or changed like to reflect absolutely. this newfound like There's power within yourself? Yes, absolutely. Oh, thanks. Yes. They all look great, right? Yeah. Um, yes, absolutely. Our wardrobe designer, Sakina, mm -hmm. um, does an amazing job job with having the fashion evolve with the character. I mm. think first season, Missy was trying to find herself in this new place and who yeah. is it? And then once she went and cut her hair and said, mm. you know what, I'm going to shed myself of everything I've ever previously thought of and I'm going to Re renew myself and who am I? I? I think her style has certainly changed. It's a, a bit more bold, mm. um, but it's still Fairly conservative yeah. compared to like M. Chuck, who's always in like hot shorts and bare sure. major. Right? <laughs> she but, said, "I am not my hair." <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. it's so interesting though because your your hair does reflect her personality and as her character, mm -hmm. like you said. So you have that that kind of longish, medium length hair at first mm -hmm. season. Yes. Then you have you you have the moment where you chop it all off second season, Amazing. but even shorter than that in second season. It was season. shorter. And now this is third season hair. So, but how do you keep your hair looking so healthy in real life? Oh, man. Okay, so anytime I'm on a set, I have to make sure that I keep my hair in cornrows. Uh -huh. uh, and we just braid it down and put wigs on top of it. Nice. And then to make sure it stays moisturized in these cornrows, I make this concoction. A little concoction Ooh. of sorts. Yes, you so guys got some of the things that I have. Yes. Tell us about your concoction. I have the organic coconut oil, uh, extra virgin, always. It just... You can use this to cook with, on your skin, on your hair. Yep. It's light. I love it. It gives it shine. Do you use them all together, mix them all together, or use them um, separately? This is separate. Okay. I use this after I put this and probably 10 other things in a water 
spray bottle. Okay. So I put a little bit of uh, the leave-in conditioner mm -hmm. as I am. It smells in, incredible. It does. It really and smells so, incredible. It makes the hair so uh, moisturized. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that and um, which, the argan oil. oil. So I didn't know great. what y'all had. I, I promise. From Morocco. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then tea tree. And then I also do Lang Lang. Um, what else do I put in there? So you put so it essential in oils. Essential oils. Oh, wow. So you put it in a water bottle. I put it in a water just... bottle and then put water in there and I shake it up yeah. and spray it, mist it on my braids at uh -huh. night and in the morning and it, it, you know, it just keeps it moisturized and then I'll yeah. slather some coconut oil. Well, I mean, it just makes the application process that much easier as well, you know, with mixing it all up into your oh, water bottle. Yeah. Very yes. cool so trick. And you look incredible. Can we like talk about the color in the back of your hair, please, for 30 oh, seconds? Oh, yes, please, okay. Please. Yes, please. That's please. because I, I'm not so bold, but yes. I want it to be, can you yes. see it? Yes. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. We always talk about, like, the, what's trending right now. Like, okay. the thing pops a color in the hair. Yeah. Of really, really super, awesome. I want it to awesome. pop it a little bit, it. but at the same time, so this is professional me. Yes. And this is... Party yeah. me, purple. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So speaking of changing up your hairstyles and your clothes, um, you wore some pretty risque outfits in uh, Chirac. Was Ooh. that was super fun for you? Like, that kind of like be completely different from Missy. Completely different than Missy and Tiana. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay, okay. So I remember being. I mean, in, look that, at these hot shorts. Yeah, I just I mean, feel like that is so not Tiana. I love those though. And it definitely is a Missy. <laughs> it's a part of me. That I just wouldn't walk down the street in that. Um, <laughs> um, but I will say, Lissastrada playing Lissastrada certainly freed up some of my. Um, Oh, you know, conservativeness. Yes. Oh, wow. um, but I remember being in those wardrobe fittings with Ruth Carter, our wardrobe designer, like, whoo, Ruth, you want to add a little more fabric? Just a little more? But She's it was like, nope. great. You're no. Gonna look great. You're gonna I loved it on screen. I loved what it came out to be. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, what are you and it made me take more risks. I would have yeah. never wore my midriff out. I'm just letting y'all know this. Well, okay? And now you're but doing it on being Lissa Strada, uh, freed up some of those inhibitions. Yeah. So, you know, you get a little sliver. A little something, something. It's, it's amazing how sometimes art will influence life yeah. like that as yes. well. But I want to talk just a, a second more about Chirac because uh, the movie had, it was incredible, t incredibly timely mm -hmm. in a sense, right? Obviously, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it has this phenomenal cast. You got Samuel L. Jackson in there. Wow. You got John Cusack. You've got uh, Angela Bassett, who's like your Crazy. childhood inspiration yes. right there. Yes. Ah. And uh, yes. I mean, She's she is amazing. so fabulous. But She's can we so talk good. about uh, getting a little romantic with Mr. Nick Cannon for the film? Oh, Ooh. yes. Nick, first of all, he's such a sweetheart. Yeah. He is such a sweetheart. I was not comfortable at all getting a little romantic and naked. Why? Oh. <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> because you think it's just he and I, but you forget there's 30 Such other people yeah. behind yeah. the cameras making it all happen and making sure you look good. But he was the ultimate gentleman and you know, he got a nice body and he's yeah, he cute. Did. Just so a little. It was fun. Oh my yeah. goodness, he looks amazing. <laughs> he's got the you swag. look amazing. You go with, Thank I mean, you. Style. That's a stunning dress. Very nice. All right, so shooting long hours, as we know, you're in a lot of makeup. It can yes. really take a toll on your skin. So what do you do to keep your skin looking so beautiful and so flawless as you sit Thank before you. me right now? Thank you. Well, first of all, try not to be stressed. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because stress will, that'll do it to you. It really but, will. Um, I have maybe a 15 step process. <laughs> yes, I'm right there with I, you. Listen, it's, it's real. It when is you're real. Makeup and thick makeup for 18 hours. Listen, you yeah. know. Um, so, yeah, these and you're are baking all. under the lights. It's really getting in there. And they're just it's taking it on. Those pores. Yep. So, I did tell them these were some of the things that I use yeah. to uh, wash my face at night. I start with the Cetaphil. It's so, so simple, right? Yes, yes. And Super I actually simple. use the antibacterial bar. Oh, um, nice. yeah. yeah. That's great. Antibacterial, get some of them germs and out. And then, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I'm a fan. I've just become like a newfound fan of this. So I'll use yes. it like days here that we're at the studio for long days and like just to freshen up in between. It's but why do you like this? The Biore charcoal. I love it. It gives you the little tingle. Mm -hmm. I, I actually put that, so I do the Cetaphil, then I do the Albaline. Okay, okay. Albaline okay. right here. And then I wipe that. Because that gets the makeup off too, really, yes. to get in there. You can do a lot of things. And it's with moisturizing that. as well, mm -hmm. so it's yes. really nice. So you, you do can this put it, and that. Yeah, and you put it under your sweatband at the gym, and it helps you sweat more. What? Just for the water weight. You, just, are, just full just a of, you are full of hacks, girlfriend. But that, that, then the makeup remover wipe, then the Biore okay. charcoal. Nice mm -hmm. little tingle, fresh tingle. I love that. And that'll really pull out the impurities too, which is really fantastic. And then we have the little Mario Desk. Yeah, no, a mask like once or twice a week. And it smells so it's good. It's so I want to yummy. Eat it. <laughs> no joke. All right, well, while you're smelling that, Lynn, do we have any questions in the chat? We sure do. Lisa B wants to know, uh, Tiana, you look so amazing. What Thank is your you. favorite way to stay in shape? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, 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 I 
I should go real. to the gym. I should. But because I know I don't like going to the gym, uh -huh. I just try to be mindful now of what I'm eating. Mm. Because clean diet. It's, you got to make a choice. No, it ain't so clean. <laughs> it's just, look, you can't eat the whole <laughs> loaf of bread. I, yeah. Have yes, three you love, pieces. You love bread. Yeah. Love well, bread. That's great. Well, you are so, a woman of my own heart. Okay, but before you head out today, okay, we got to ask you, she played Dawn Draper's secretary mm -hmm. in, of course, the iconic series Mad Men. So you yes. got to give us a little, <laughs> I mean, look at you there, a little flashback moment. Okay, <laughs> any memorable uh, or like super funny moments on set or even behind the scenes? Um, actually, my first day on set, I was very nervous and everyone was so welcoming. I, I remember walking to the chair, where Dawn's desk, uh -huh. and I, I was kind of freaking out. And I, I go to sit down and all of a sudden, the chair rolls from behind no. me. Everybody <laughs> looks and I'm like, <laughs> and they just start laughing and clapping. It's one of those, It's everything is true to its period. So yeah. it was an old school rolling chair. It only had three legs, very dainty, delicate what? ones. A three-legged rolling them. chair? Sounds awful. Hey, that was <laughs> one way to make an entrance. I know, I did. And they were so sweet and gracious, Aww. and everybody clapped, and it was so you quite bounced right back such up. a pride. I, well, my pride didn't, <laughs> but my body, they pulled I'm that out. I'm similar incident. I can, I can uh, yeah, I can totally understand that. Lens, let's check in with you. So what's cooking in the chat? Any other questions? Oh, sure. Well, I, um, okay, so Aubrey asked a great question, considering we are going to do secret SPF later in the show. Mm. Aubrey wants to know, what is your personal favorite sunscreen, Tiana? Oh. I actually was just on the market looking for a sunscreen. Yeah. Um, and I just came across Kiehl's. Yes. Um, it's Perfect. very thin mm. and it doesn't turn my face white. Mm. Yeah. Um, so if I don't want to wear makeup that day, I don't have to worry about it because a lot of times the sunscreen will leave like this white right. film on me. Right. Yeah, yeah sure. so I don't want that. But this Kiehl's one has been working nice. out pretty good. I actually good. just got it two days ago. Oh, so it's funny. Yeah, yeah. So you got to keep that skin uh, safe, right? A little bit of a tradition here at Style yes. Club. We're going to take a style snack. Snap. Yes. So get on in here. We're okay. gonna do a style snap selfie. Yay. Are we giving face or are we smiling? Well, um, well, up to you. A face. Oh, the lip hair. Yes, the lip hair. Oh, yes, yes. you did it. Kissy poo poo action. Oh, that's cute. I cannot wait to see what this picture oh, looks like. Dreadful. Tiana, thank you so thank much you for being so here much. with us today. Thank you. And remember, you can catch the season three premiere of Survivor's Remorse on Stars Sunday, July twenty fourth so at ten p.m. Good. Yes, please. watch it. Oh, yes. yes, indeed. All right. Well, we, when we come back, we're going to be talking about the outfits you need for your day trips this summer. Some good stuff coming your way. <laughs> Hang with us. We'll be right back. Gotta roll. Gotta roll. Right back. Right back. Here we go. Can't, <laughs> can't wait to see what this today. is. Cannot it's wait. not going to be good. It's going to be cute. It will. We were given serious things. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs>